what's the challenge this week? Well, that's right. In the world of carnivals, yeah, which we are very much steeped in, uh, it's important we decided not to go venture too far from the shore. And what does that mean? Yeah, good what does question. That mean? It means what Stuart is trying to say is in the carnival, because a lot of these are challenge based. We try not to do something that plays very strongly to one or other person's skill set. We try to stay away from things that involve music most of the time because, and I think it's fair to say this, mm. I'm a bit more musical than Stuart is. Well, I play lots of different instruments. Yeah, but hang on. Fit as a fiddle and ready for love. I mean, you've got a lovely voice. Thank you. But I can jump over the moon and above. Fit as a fiddle and ready for love. Oh. <laughs> hey, but I recognised I went off course. Some that's people, true, true. they go rambling and then they go, hang on. What's going on? And they've died in a river. The first step. I recognise that I was off course. The first step's admitting you've got a problem. Yeah. What instruments can you play? The cloaca. What is that? Uh, the cloaca is a is reproductive it? and disposal sort of organ on reptiles and birds. So it's for both reproduction and for disposal at the same time. And for soloing. <laughs> for solo. <laughs> you've got to get the right read. <laughs> Today's challenge is going to involve this instrument here. This is a violin. The viola. This is a violin. Ah. The viola is a bit bigger. Right. What do you have on the string quartet? The viola. Mm -hmm. The violin. How many? That's a, that's, a, that's a clue. Four. It's a string quartet, so be logical. A quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Two violins, a viola, and a cello. Okay. Let me finish. <laughs> I was about to say all of those things. Well, it's when you said a quarter of a violin. <laughs> there was oh, a... No, I had a feeling you might not get it. Look, hang on, this guy's wandered into the river. You've got to say what, you're, what it is you're going to try to play, yeah. firstly, yeah. and then play it. This tune will be, apparently, the most successful tune of all time. Ah, umbrella. Happy, <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Okay, that was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> no, we're near Happy Birthday. <laughs> Unless you're wishing a star a Happy Birthday. When I started playing, I realised what I meant to say was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. A man who has no experience playing violin. That is genuinely, gone. that I picked up today. It's yeah, terribly. this is going to be uh, Island, uh, Island Sun, is it? <laughs> we by Weezer. That famous Is that what yeah. it's called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it sounds like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> Hang on, maybe I can play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> You've lost control of your basic foundation. <laughs> I think I played a note which just made me <laughs> evacuate my cloaca. <laughs> Within five seconds, you were dribbling. <laughs> oh, what was I worried about? Okay, is that the, is that the You can see why they have two of them in the quarter. <laughs> it is a truly beautiful instrument. <laughs> Okay, let's, I'm just going to jump in there because that is really... Okay. Oh. For my second and final piece, I will actually play Happy Birthday. Okay. Little star. <laughs> I'm going to play Jurassic Park. <laughs> so John Williams, big fan of the violin. I think he had seven or eight of them in his quartet. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, you don't play by the rules, that John Williams. <laughs> Da, 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 da. <laughs> I've just got to jump in again. Who do you think did best? It's a tough one. Hello there. Welcome to Carnival of Fun. Yep, what are you doing? Just climbing along. Why? I thought it would be interesting. No. Is it possible to mime along with someone when you don't know what they're going to say? Well, you know I'm going to say hello. It's scary. <laughs> <laughs>